So, have you driven a Ford lately? Hi, this is Patrick, and here is a 1992 Ford F-150 XLT standard cab, long bed, four wheel drive, pickup truck. Don't you wish you bought this truck brand new back in 1992? Now's your chance. So let's talk about this truck a little bit. Beautiful blue color with silver accents in the bottom. And this is virtually a three owner truck. I am the third owner officially. This truck got started out in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, Heartland of America. It was a work truck. It was a grandpa truck. And it ended up here in California about one year ago. Sold to a, an acquaintance up the street for me and I bought it from him. So it's had about a 20 year ownership but now recently it's changed hands twice in, in the past uh, six months. So let's talk about this truck a little bit. Again, 1992 Ford F-150, automatic transmission, V8, and a 5.0 liter uh, motor from Ford. So um, it's got some nice off start. It's got the dual tanks it's, and uh, the aluminum wheels, 100% stock. Nothing on this truck has been modified at all. And uh, I put some brand new BF Goodrich KO2 31 10 and a half 15s all the way around this truck. State code of like 23 of 22. So, I mean, they're fresh out of the, the factory. And um, the truck is just a great example of a truck that you just can't find anymore. Where can you get a brand new Ford XLT in a standard cab long bed? It's probably um, almost impossible to spec out. So that's what's really unique about this truck. It's everything you want in a truck and nothing you don't need. But uh, that being a truck and it was in Nebraska, it does have a slight, 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 I mean, I almost want to call it rust free. You'll see all the photos underneath. It's virtually rust free. One little tiny spot in the body. But other than that, you know, um, man, if it was in Iowa or here in Minnesota, you'd say this thing was rust free. But we're in California now and it's got California places are good until December of 2022. It just passed the strictest smog in the nation. Here in California, with you know, it didn't even register on the scale. The thing runs super clean and nice. Um, so let's walk around the truck and just see it in this good lighting we have here out by the barn. Um, it's got a couple character dings on it. It's been used a little bit, but very, very gently used. As we go, let's go around this way. I want to show you some things. We'll come back and talk about some of these scratches. A little dent here on the bed. Again, 100% original paint. Or I haven't even mentioned that yet. It's got 100% original paint, so we didn't want to mess with it, change anything. This pinstriping is from 1992. Um, dual tanks that work perfectly. You can just go where you want with this thing. It did have a shell on it when I got it. I took the shell off. I didn't like it, and it had a bed liner in it. I took that out. I didn't like it. So it's got a couple little holes drilled to put the, the shell down and all the clamps. So you can see those as we go around, but that's really the only blemish that was drilled into this truck. Other than that, again, 100% original other than that. Coming down the side, a couple little, besides that dent there on the right or on the left rear quarter panel, a, you know, a little tiny scratch here and there. It's a truck. What are you going to do with this thing? You're going to use it a little bit, but um, we'll look at the inside in a minute. Really, the front end's near perfect. I think it might have had a, one of those bug shield deals on it because there's like a little rub of paint here and a little rub right here. So it might have had one on it and it's, and it's over the course of its life, but very, very minimal. The lighting's getting a little bit of paint here. So we're going to, but you, with the detailed photos, you can see because we're selling this on the interwebs, one of the more popular auction sites. No reserve, it's going to sell to the highest bidder. And I want the truck to speak for itself. You can answer, ask any questions, I'll answer them. Um, down the side here, really nothing. One barely a nick right here. When I said a little tiny bit of rust, this is really the only rust in the entire body of the truck, right here. And if we roll underneath here, you can see it's very, 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 very minor. Let's get all the way up underneath there. You can see it right there. Um, that's what I'm saying. The body is ridiculous on this truck. Now, grandpa's truck, grandchildren trying to back a boat in at a boat ramp was the story I was told on this big dent scrape. So it is an indentation and a scrape of the paint down the side it ends about right here. And the, the scrape ends here, but the dent continues to about right here. So yeah, shit, all the way down to here, right? So 
Um, also, this is when the bumper got bent. Kids were trying to back in a boat at a boat ramp. This should happen in Nebraska and they didn't do a good job. So that all happened in one fell swoop. The dented bumper, the scrape down the side, and a little scrape in the tailgate when the, when the boat hit the tailgate. So it's got a couple little character dents in it. Nothing major, you can tell your own story with them when you buy this truck. Uh, no little key fob to lower your tailgate. I mean, come on, this is a truck, right? This is a long bed. Real steel, no composite, this is the real deal. The bed's actually in remarkable, remarkable shape. Look how clean it is. It did have a bed liner in it. I bought this truck. I use it to do some home improvement stuff around my house. So I, I, I use the truck, took really good care of it, but this is a truck, right? So um, tailgate's in great shape. I mean, it's heavy. It's not like these new trucks today. It's awesome. Come around, um, you know, no rust. somehow kept inside of course most of his life. Wait till you see the inside of this thing. Bench seat across the entire you know, entire truck right there. Three seat belts, two shoulder belts for the outer passengers, lap belt for the middle. I'm gonna come around and show you the uh, the uh, fanciness of the 1992 XLT truck. Look at this. You got an armrest. How about that? 1992 armrest. Can you imagine? You got one cup holder right here, and you got a place for your iPhone. They were thinking way ahead in 1992 for your iPhone here. You're going to charge it in this PowerPoint right here. Air conditioning, AM, FM cassette. You even get a ZZ Tops greatest hits. It works. It's awesome. We'll listen to it in a little bit. How cool is that? Old school compass. It was stuck on the dash. Glove compartment. Few more cassettes in here and a couple more ZZs. And then we got the full complete books. Three sets of keys. Two are two sets are original. One was like a, a repo set. You're good to go. These floor mats are all, I mean it's it's hundred percent original. This this middle one was there. I didn't see this. My dad had a 1992 Ford F-150, black and silver, not blue and silver. I don't remember this this type of a floor mat, but it's here and it you know goes in here right nicely. Couple like little I guess you call them burn marks or something. I don't know what happened right here, but that's really the only blemish, only blemish on the inside of the entire truck. No funky smells, nothing. It shifts into four wheel drive, very, very smooth. It's got the automatic hubs, power windows, power locks. What's really cool, feature you don't see anymore, the wing windows, uh, super old school. I grew up in the Midwest, not far from Nebraska. I love having these in the trucks. Tilt wheel, cruise control, what else can I tell you? Sliding rear, sliding rear window. And um, the only real mod are these side steps from, I think they say car on them. Very stout steps to get in and out of the truck. Let's pop the hood and I'll show you under the hood. Um, what else are we going to tell you about this? A lot of oil changes in this truck. Mission was flushed at, at 90,000 miles. Had some paperwork on that. Had some brake work done recently as well. And now I'm going to pop this hood. The truck is cleaned. I've had it, you know, detailed and shined up a little bit. But I'm not a big fan of going through and making the engine shine. This is what this is what it looked like when I bought it. It's been well kept. Yeah, it's got a little bit of dirt on it. But it's not shined, it's not armor old, it's not hiding anything. This is what the 5.0 liter Ford motor looks like um, today. I don't know what they call it. it wasn't a Cleveland or something, was it? Um, I'm not sure what it was. But, uh, you know, I know I'll get some comments. Hey, you should clean up that motor. But this is what, I, I like to see it. You guys can do with what you want with it when you buy it. But it, it's not dirty, it's just, it's just a little bit of dirt. I wouldn't call it dirty at all. A little bit of mud splash in the hood from going through a mud puddle. I might have done that one myself. Um, I did use the truck a little bit, had some fun with it, but took good care of it. Um, everything works on the truck. The AC works, cruise control works, power mirrors work, power windows work, power locks work. It does not have keyless entry. This is 1992, folks, Ford XLT. And, um, and uh, let's see. 
I think we should go for a ride. What do you guys say? We'll, we'll take it around. You can hear it. Hear it start up. Hear it run. Over the years, Ford gained a lot of expertise in building tough, durable, dependable trucks. Today's Ford full-size pickups are more stylish, more comfortable, more powerful, but they're still tough and dependable. And of all the pickups sold over the last 15 years, there are more Ford full-size pickups still on the road than any other make. One thing I haven't even told you yet, low miles, low original miles, 100,902 miles as it sits right now. We're going to put a few miles on it. So it's going to have about 101,000 miles on it by the time you are the new owner of this truck. So let's fire it up. Let's be safe. We'll put the seatbelt on. You can hear the radio. I can't really turn it on because YouTube will flag me on that. But again, ZZ Top Screw, it's in here. Um, here's here's the, uh, the the lights. You can see the, the, the green illuminates the back. Hope you can see that in here. We'll turn them on, turn them off. And right there, let's go with the high beams right there. Everything works in this truck. Um, the high beam light. Oh, you can't. Let me see if you want to bring this over here. I want to see the high beam light because it's kind of cool. See, right there. Okay, here we go. I got to turn that down. Got some Steve Miller playing now. Um, it's got intermittent wipers as well. These map lights work. Let's check this out right here. I think I told you I got this armrest, which is kind of nice. It's got your all your full gauge package and tachometer. Um, again, dual tanks, and it drives really, really good. Um, our California freeways aren't like the smoothest. We have a lot of you know uh, indentations, but maybe it's because it's the short or the regular cab long bed that drives so good. But the only other thing I want to tell you that like, go ahead. Patrick, what's up with that? It does not have a spare tire or wheel. It's got the mechanism for it. It's just not there. It wasn't there when I bought it. But the brand new set of BFG All Trains from America's Tire Company, also known as Discount Tire Company. They said, hey, we can get a wheel for you. I'm like, eh, I'm not worried about getting a flat tire with BFG KO2s. But, um, all right, here we go. Original glass all the way around. It's got one little star that I had filled in right there. I uh, wanted to keep the glass original. It's the Carlite glass branded that Ford used back in 1992. Again, um, you can hear it. It's just, it's great. we're going to give it a little gas going up. Let's see how you guys ready. Here we go. I think you get the gist again 1992 Ford F-150 XLT I'm not sure what color blue this is called I'll call it beautiful blue because it's pretty beautiful and I think you'll like the color I think you'll like the truck how many questions send them and I'll answer them as quick as possible otherwise good luck good bidding you're gonna love this truck thanks change the best built full-size pickup in America you painstakingly reshape the exterior until it's more refined Make the instrument panel more user-friendly. The available power controls easier to reach. And you redesign the interior for unexpected comfort. The best never rest. How did we change the full-size Ford pickup? Very carefully. More people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before.
never thought I'd see a truck that looked this good. The new Ford pickup. One more reason why the F-Series is America's best-selling truck 15 years running. See it at your local Northwest Ford dealer.